In this video, I reviewed the best cheap hand saws on Amazon, along with some bonus tips on buying hand saws. Let's go. Hey guys, it's David from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do reviews of products, tools, and materials, along with how-to videos. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. Along with reviewing the best cheap hand saws on Amazon in 2020, stick around to the end of the video for some bonus tips on buying hand saws. The first saw I reviewed is the Great Neck Tools 26 inch saw and it retails for $37.91 on Amazon right now. The Great Neck is a 12 teeth or 12 tip per inch saw, which is kind of fine to average, so that's nice. The next thing I really like about this saw, which is becoming rarer and rarer, is an all hardwood handle with four screws. That's really tough and it's gonna hold the handle to the saw and last a long time for you guys. It has a carbon steel blade, which is gonna stay sharp really long. However, it'll be tougher to sharpen if you wanna actually sharpen your saw. <clears throat> Another thing that's becoming more common and common on hand saws are these tri-cut teeth. What that means is your saw is gonna cut on the forward and the back stroke, which is gonna make cutting a lot quicker. The Great Neck saw is made in the USA and comes with a lifetime warranty. That's a really nice option to have on a hand saw because hand saws tend to wear out, they can get damaged, and the fact that you can send this back and get a brand new one, that really stands out. For a longer, all around average cutting saw, the Great Neck Tools 26 inch has gotta be my pick right now. And remember, the links to these three saws I reviewed will be in the description below. And hey, if getting into woodworking and using saws is something you're new to or struggling with, I've made a video in the YouTube card above about how to use a handsaw. It's a great piece of content to get you started. If you're looking for a shorter saw, I reviewed the Stanley Fat Max 15 inch, or what is called a panel saw. This saw retails for $33.75 on Amazon. This is a little more of an aggressive cutting saw. It's an eight tooth or eight tip per inch saw. The Stanley is also a tri-cut tooth saw, which just like the Baco and the Great Neck that I reviewed, will cut on the forward and the back stroke. That's pretty much how a lot of saws are being made these days. It also has induction hardened teeth. You can see how the teeth are black, that the saw teeth have been hardened, which is gonna make the saw stay sharp for a really long time. This saw also has a wood handle, along with a plastic and rubber grip. It's a really comfortable grip. I really like the feel of this. The Stanley Fat Max saw comes with a limited lifetime warranty. And what that means is they guarantee the saw will come to you with no defects or mistakes made. As for if you damage the saw or the saw isn't up to your standards, that's not really covered. This is a really good option for a more aggressive cutting panel saw. The third saw I reviewed is the Baco 15 inch, and this retails for $35 even on Amazon. This saw is a 15 tooth or tip per inch saw, which is on the finer side, so not great for a lot of rough, larger cutting, but for a fine panel saw, this is a really good buy. I like this saw. Another really great bonus feature that the Stanley and the Baco have that the Great Neck doesn't is the 90 and 45 degree cut on the handle, which is great for layout if you don't have a square, combination square, or tape measure, or anything else but a pen or pencil. You can use that handle to draw lines on your material. It's a really great feature. The one thing I don't really like about this saw though is it's an all plastic handle. Saws with plastic handles tend to come loose over time. They don't really stay tight like a wood saw on the Great Neck or the Stanley and they can't be tightened really as well. Once they kind of come loose and break, that's kind of it. Another downside about the Baco saw is that they have what is called a limited warranty. And really after reading the fine print, there's no warranty. So yeah. So here's some bonus tips for you guys if you're in the market to buy a saw. So if the material you're cutting is usually with the grain, you're probably looking for what is called a cross cut hand saw. These saws cut kind of like a chisel. The teeth are shaped 
like a right angle triangle and are generally good for around the house general cutting. Another tip for buying a cross cut saw is if you know generally the size and material you're cutting, you can choose what type of tips or teeth per inch you want. A good rule of thumb is to have four to eight teeth per inch within the material you're cutting with that type of saw. If you tend to do more cutting that is across the grain, then you're probably looking for what is called a cross cut saw. With these type of saws, the teeth are more like an oblique triangle and cut more like a knife in the wood or material cutting. A good rule of thumb is when buying a cross cut saw is that you want to have six to ten teeth or tips per inch within the material you're cutting. So if you tend to know what size of things you're cutting, then you know how many tips or teeth per inch in the saw you want to buy. If you're doing more just DIY and general cutting though, a lot of new saws, including the three saws I reviewed, have what are called tri-cut teeth. And these saws will cut on the forward and back stroke and I'll have the teeth beveled on the sides as well as the front. And they're really good for cross cutting or rip cutting. So that's a really good option to go for. In the $30 to $40 range, these are three really great saws in their respective categories. And hey, what's your go-to saw for general work and general cutting? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. See you in the next video.